And here's a reminder to like the video, subscribe to the channel and press that little bell icon so that you don't miss out on any videos. It is Saturday morning and I will be off to work in not super long, but I thought I would squeeze in a little bit of time for drinking coffee and reading my book before leaving. I can't talk very loudly because my partner is still in bed. It's morning and Saturday, so of course, if I was not working today, I would be in bed still as well. But I just wanted to say that I finished Beloved by Toni Morrison a couple of days ago. I finished it on my way back from work on Thursday. I had hoped to finish it earlier, but there were things happening on Thursday. I didn't finish it on my way to work, but from work, and that's okay. Really, really well written book. I think I already said it, but I just love this cover. It is so beautiful. I have started a new book, and that is The Honeys by Ryan Lasala. This is a young adult horror book and it's LGBTQ+. The main character is gender fluid, so that's kind of cool. Looking forward to dig into this properly. Haven't read much because I just started it. I finished The Hannes today, which is written by Ryan Lasala. This only took me a couple of days to read, to be honest. It was nothing like I expected. At first I was feeling a little bit, I don't know, I was like thinking, will I like it? I'm not sure. But yes, I did up enjoying it immensely. It is nature horror, it is LGBTQ+. It is also young adult. It had some twists and turns that I didn't expect. I really enjoyed it.
can't believe we are now far into November and I still haven't wrapped up my Gothtober vlog. I am sorry, I will do that now. I didn't have a TBR, but I tried to find books that would fit some of the prompts. I did, and some books didn't really turn out as I expected, but that's how things are, I guess. First book I read was A Dua by Igiaba Shego. This is a book that I've been meaning to finish for ages. I started reading this when I was in London in April. If you've seen my London vlog from April, you would have seen this book. But I finally managed to finish it. This is a book crossing book that is going to travel on. It would cross off a BIPOC author and that's pretty much it. It's not like a gothic book or horror or anything. Next book that I read was Beloved by Toni Morrison and this is a book that has been sitting on my shelf for I don't know how long. <laughs> I love Toni Morrison's works. I first read Sula back in 1995, I think. Probably. <laughs> I love her works, so I was excited to finally get around to read this because it would be like fitting for the prompts. It would cross off BIPOC author. I also think it crosses off beautiful book. So if you look at the cover, I think it's really beautiful. It's like a gothic Victorian vibe. That means it's also a cross of read a book with a portrait of Victorian aesthetic, which I think this is. It's a beautiful book, as I said. It's also a book with um, uh, that has a BIPOC author, actually. So if I hadn't read Adua, I would still have crossed off that. I didn't know that because I didn't make a TBR. Then the next book I read I don't have with me because I had to hand it back to the library and that's The Honeys, written by Ryan LaSala. That actually crosses off. Read an LGBTQ plus book. Then after that I read The Midnight Club, which was nothing like I expected. I thought it would be like more goth, mysterious. I also, there was like a mention of someone who died, so I thought it would be like a murder mystery, but it wasn't. But it would cross off a disability rep, because there is a character there with disability. And then the last book that I read is Mörkets Tjener by Anne Elvedal. This is the third book in a Norwegian young adult teen horror trilogy that I really like. And this book is actually signed to me by the author. I absolutely love this. It's a really nice wrap up to the two first books. The second book is actually set before the first book in time, but this kind of follows up the first book. I'm not sure if I can cross off any prompts, to be honest. I think it's a beautiful book, so maybe that. It has like butterflies, which is, if you've read the book, you would understand why the cover has bu butterflies. Merkit Stjener, or The Servant of the Darkness. And that was my goth tubber vlog. Not quite very organized. It's done. It made me get around to reading a couple of books that I had meant to read. So that's a good thing. That's it for now, and I will see you in my next. Bye.